I'm Monica Mangan, I'm an interior designer, a blogger, and a hardcore DIYer. So the Lowe's challenge is blogger versus builder grade. I have a budget of only $1,000 to work with and I need to transform kind of this space that is just fine, but really who wants a bathroom that's fine? Everybody wants this amazing space and I'm challenged to do it for just $1,000. So I open the door to my builder grade bathroom and the first thing I notice is yellow. Gotta go. I'm kind of a big fan of peel and stick flooring. I came up with a project that could go over the existing floor. It's very inexpensive, it is very durable, and it's easy to work with. So I wanted to do a combination of planked tiles and also just regular square tiles, but they weren't gonna stay square. I cut them down into hexagon shapes and created a really neat visual on the floor. So as soon as you walk in, one of the first things you see is kind of an interesting mosaic that just screams custom bathroom. After I had created this amazing idea and plan for the floor, I needed to move to the vanity. And the vanity that they had had a ton of storage in it. So that was something I really needed to keep in mind. I couldn't just do something that looked great but wasn't functional. So we got rid of the existing vanity and started building from scratch. And I wanted to give them something that had a lot of substance and maybe a little bit more space. It's a big bathroom. So we built the vanity out of six by six posts. They're real thick and chunky and they just scream expensive to me, but they're not. Let's talk about the top of this vanity. So for the vanity top, it had to be really cool and stylish and I just wanted something that would make a major statement. So I used pieces of wood, ripped them down and created kind of a wooden mosaic top. I think it might be the coolest vanity top in the world. On the far wall, I decided that I wanted to really focus on adding some texture. So what I did is I took the same vinyl planks that I used on the floor and carried that all the way up the back wall. It really gives it a look of distressed, authentic wood. But to make it even more authentic, I added little copper tacks in each plank so that it really does have some texture to it. And it looks like we did a very cool rustic wall. After adding lots of texture to the accent wall, I really wanted to bring some life into the room and I knew I wanted to do it through plants. So I decided that I would build a garden wall between the shower and the tub. The final thing that I knew I needed to take care of was the very nondescript hollow core door. And I knew that I could change it with just paint and painter's tape. So I marked out a very cool pattern, kind of playing off the geometrics and the vanity onto the door and just used a little bit of paint and this door is incredible. So at the end of the day, we have a bathroom that is filled with incredibly unique projects. It's completely loaded with style and the whole thing did not break the budget. You don't have to settle for what you were given in your builder grade bathroom. I mean, there's so much you can do if you get creative and be willing to kind of put your own personality out there.